a little experiment played with some simple materials that I shall explain. Uh, this is uh, of interest in terms of what is on its opposite side, which I won't show you, but it will be of in interest and importance later, uh, particularly to you, because it has to do with some de decisions you're about to make. So let me lean this up against this glass so that uh, we can't do anything with it until later. Uh, this is a little display stand. As you can see, it is numbered one to eight, eight different positions that have to do with information on the opposite side of this uh, piece of cardboard, which I'll set back into position facing away from you. Uh, what is your name? Sandy. Sandy. Sandy, you're going to choose one of these numbers from one to eight, but I want you to be absolutely sure that this choice is entirely your own. For this reason, uh, decide on one of those numbers, but uh, steer away from anything you think I might want you to pick. Uh, it might be, for example, that uh, I might have done some research, found out your, your phone number and know the first digit of that, or maybe I asked someone who would know your lucky number. If you think that's possible, it's not, but if you think, if you think that I've done that research and had the inclination to do that research, then don't go to that number. Choose a number you're sure that I wouldn't have any way of knowing or guessing. And then to be sure about that, you can change your mind which you have, haven't you? Which means, of course, now you're thinking of a number even you didn't know you'd be thinking of just a moment ago. So I think clearly this can't be a number that I would know in advance. All right? What number are you thinking of? Three. Three. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, on the opposite side of, of the white card here are some designs, and they match up in position to the numbers. So one, two, three, the third design in is a zigzag. But you did change your mind. What number did you have before that? The four, the fourth number over, uh, is tied to the, uh, the sort of a star or asterisk design. Uh, so it would have been something different. But you went for number three, and that is the zigzag. Uh, that's important because of what I have over here. Because clearly your choice of the zigzag was determined by decisions that were completely free and not influenced in any way. There was no coercion whatsoever. Would you agree? You do. Then how would you explain this? <laughs> 